Well, hey everybody. If you can't tell, we're in Oklahoma. Yeah, again. We're back. We're, we're back in Oklahoma for a while. Um, Taiwan, we miss you. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and in fact, this is what this is about. Uh, I want to talk about some stuff that I'm not going to miss about Taiwan. Yeah, and I'm going to talk about something I will miss. Yeah, I got I got about five or six things, and you got about five or six things. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, let's get started. Uh, one of the first things that I will not miss in Taiwan, and this is something we haven't talked about in any of our other videos, and I can't believe I haven't brought it up, but <laughs> bones in meat. I, I can't tell you how many bones they leave in their meat. And it's like the really small bones. And I'm not talking about fish. I'm not talking about eating a fish and like eating the really, really small bones and no big deal. I'm talking about biting through like a fried pork cutlet and biting into a bone. Well, I mean, after you eat it for longer, you'll be professional. But I don't feel like you ever <laughs> slowed down eating like a fried pork cutlet like you would just bite into it and just true, keep it did, do you ever like bite into a bone and hurt your tooth yes <laughs> and you just didn't complain about it well i'm used to it so i just let it go it's just my problem <laughs> i'm just a complainer i just want to have nice teeth you just don't care i do i just care my teeth you've gotten lucky yeah all right so, far. so what's something you will miss well of course the first thing i will miss is my family and friends just they're over there and it's so hard to see them anymore. I agree. Yeah. I miss so. you, Liam family. Yay! Hi, if you're watching. Yeah, I wouldn't know. So the next thing I'm not gonna miss uh, is the weather. I, I really only felt like there were only a few weeks out of the year in Taiwan mm -hmm. that were actually nice to be there. Um, overall, it's, it's okay, you do get used to it, but there's a lot of humidity. There's a lot of heat, especially in Kaohsiung down south. Yeah. And the sun, it, it feels different. Like it's bring you a skin. Yeah, it feels like it immediately starts burning your skin. Um, and also the winters are surprisingly pretty cold. Mm -hmm. I mean, not like yeah. freezing cold, but they're pretty cold because also, you know, you're probably on a scooter or walking and you're out in it. So uh, I'm not going to miss that. I mean, the weather here can be bad too. Uh, but oh, and the rain. Oh. Non-stop rain before in Taiwan. Left. Oh, it rained every day for two weeks before yeah. we left. Oh, we got lucky on the we day did. we left. We did. It, yeah. it didn't rain um, the day before the day we actually mm -hmm. uh, left. So that was that was a nice yeah. uh, relief from, from that. So mm -hmm. what's your next thing that you're going to miss? Well, how convenient Taiwan is. It's just if you want to go somewhere, it's so easy to get there. Yeah. You can even take a subway. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's, it is pretty convenient. Well, and, and that also brings up 7-Elevens and family uh -huh. marts everywhere. Oh, everywhere. I'll miss that as well. That That is something that, I mean, we have 7-Elevens yeah. and whatever here, but it's not It's not the same. Mm -hmm. you, you can do everything at those 7-Elevens and family marts Love in Taiwan. Them. So, uh -huh. and that was in uh, one of our last videos. Right. So we will, we will miss that for sure. I, I agree. Oh, too bad. Yeah. Okay, the number three thing I'm not gonna miss uh, is the overly complicated government paperwork and really the government altogether. I, I cannot tell you how frustrating it is dealing with the Taiwanese government for any amount of uh, paperwork or license or uh, certification, any of that. It, it is, you call one department, they give you answers, then you call another department in another city, uh, they give you different answers, uh, you call one DMV, they give you answers uh, that directly conflict with another DMV that you call in a different city or even a different part of the same city. So I'm not going to miss the bureaucratic red tape that you have to sift through going through uh, uh, their, their whole process of trying to get a visa mm -hmm. to do anything. I mean, well, actually our marriage, getting married in Taiwan was the easiest thing out of everything, I feel like. For you, it was the easiest. I, yeah, you had it to, was really crazy for me, okay? You did have to deal with yeah, <laughs> a lot of people. I but spent we, a lot of time. We had our documents in order. And, and actually, the documents that they told us to prepare before we came to register our marriage there, we didn't need some of it, right? Yeah. Uh, so we went we went out of our way for no reason. We so that was... money and time. Yeah, that was... That. Thanks, Taiwanese government. <laughs> you need to work on that, Taiwanese government, for real. Hmm. Anyway, what's something that... Okay, my third one is 
food and how cheap it is. I agree. Yeah, I just I I can have different thing every day, mm. and it's so so cheap. It's only yeah. like two bucks per meal. That is something we've really been feeling since yeah. we've been back. We forgot about uh, the prices <laughs> in America yeah. for food. We were eating lunch for a dollar to two dollars a day uh -huh, in but Taiwan. Now here. Yeah, four dollars for a cup of coffee, five to ten dollars oh for a lunch. I don't want to go out. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot about it. We've just been bleeding money since we got back. Mm -hmm. So I agree with you. Yeah. I miss. I miss the food. I miss the, I the prices it. and the uh, selection. Yeah, I miss the food a lot. And beef noodle soup. Oh. Wow. <laughs> it's dangerous Oops. here. A berry just fell out of this tree and almost hit us. Uh. Hmm. So I, I agree. I'll, I'll miss the food as well. Okay, the fourth thing that I'm not gonna miss is the driving. And we talked about this in our other video about eight things you should know uh, before you go to Taiwan. Yeah. The driving um, is some of the worst I've ever been involved in. Uh, I, know, I know in Vietnam, like it's out of this world crazy or parts of India, it's, it's super crazy, but it can be really, damn bug. <laughs> it can be really crazy in Taiwan um, and when you're trying to decide do I really want to go to that place because it's kind of far away uh, because the driving's so crazy and you might die on the road you, you yeah, know it's not no can that great it. yeah well so. and I think it depends on the city you're in definitely up in Taipei um, I hear the police are are all over motorists mm -hmm. it's a little safer yeah Taichung was kind of crazy but Kaohsiung was super crazy uh, yes, out of driving. control. Yeah, so um, I'm not gonna miss the driving. I mean, there's crazy people here, but mostly everybody follows the law. And I'm happy to have stop signs again. I don't know if we mentioned oh, yeah. that, but what a stop sign in Taiwan? Yeah. There's no stop signs in Taiwan. And uh, I, I actually asked her the other day. I was like, "What? What did you first do when you saw a stop sign here?" Hmm? Yeah, she just rolled it. <laughs> how, how often do you roll stop signs still? Not really. Just, You're good. No, I'm good. I stop every time. Okay, even in Taiwan, I stop. Oh sure. What? There's no stop signs. What do you mean? You mean at a stop light? We do have stop signs. No, you don't. Ish. No, they don't. Ish. Anyway, my next one is we always have a lot of places to go and a lot of things to do, which I love it. Just like after we came back. I want to go somewhere, but I don't know where to go. Yeah, but mm. I mean, we just need to look it up, you know? Like, yeah. we just need to find where to go and, and what to do. And, and we had to do the same thing in Taiwan. It was, there is a lot of stuff to go uh, do there, but like I've said before, you're still competing with all of these things we're talking about. So you're competing with the weather, you're competing with driving. True. You're competing with people. So it's just a different, it's just different. I prefer this now uh this is way more relaxed for me it is you know when you weigh that against having maybe a lot of like things to look at or a lot of things to do i mean but sometimes i just want to go out yeah but, i mean we can mm. go out here it is easier to just walk out of your door and hop on a scooter in taiwan to go somewhere i'll, I'll give you that yeah um right just like five minutes two minutes but a place mm. i gotta tell you what I've really learned between Korea, Taiwan, Oklahoma, a place is what you make it. And a place is really all about like you planning or getting together with people and finding events and stuff like that. So yeah. I don't think I'm gonna miss, that's not really one for me. Okay, it's for me. But I'm sorry for you. Fine. <laughs> all right, the last thing that I'm not gonna miss is hang drying clothes. I, I love dryers. Dryers oh, me too. are amazing and specifically dryers in your own house or apartment. <laughs> that is, it's so nice. I've forgotten what it's like to do yeah. laundry in two hours. You, uh -huh. could, you could wash them in an hour and then dry them in an hour and, and you're good to go. Yeah. Taiwan, forget it. Like we said before, there are like dryers you can go pay for um, mm -hmm. at like a laundromat, but uh, you gotta be careful with those. I, I actually, and, and my best man, he, uh, he had clothing ruined um, oh, really? along with me, yeah. From a dryer that we put stuff in and it was either like gum or like burnt plastic oh, wow. or something it was like it was like burnt plastic melted plastic that got like stuck in our clothes um it. yeah and ruined some of our clothing so you have to be careful with those places but uh for the most part what you're doing is you wash them and you hang them and depending on where you are or what season it is uh it could take a day or it could take a week not a week <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> rinse maybe two days but yeah 
So the, the last two weeks with us being there, like we said, it was raining every day. So it was really challenging to do uh, laundry. And if you're yeah. living with other people, uh, it's even harder. Mm -hmm. So I love, I love our dryer. Me too. It's amazing. Love it. So what's the last thing you're going to miss? Okay, my last one is Chinese. It just, it's so easy for me to understand everyone in Taiwan because, of course, I speak Chinese. And sometimes here, I just can't understand people. Yeah, it just depends on their accent. So it's really hard for me. That's what I miss in Taiwan. I am so happy to be able to just use English again. I can't even <laughs> tell you. And it's not even that I... It's not that I hate speaking Chinese or that like mm -hmm. I, I can't do it. It's just my Chinese level is pretty low. Uh, I know that feeling, okay? Yeah, that's and, what I feel now. And uh, it's just it's just really nice to be able to communicate easily again, which is what you're gonna miss. So, but your English, you'll get back in this American mindset. And your English is Slowly. really good, so. I wouldn't worry, but yeah, I mean, she's right about some of the accents here in Oklahoma. They can they can be pretty thick at times. Yeah. So, uh, so I don't blame her. I mean, a couple times I have to say, what? What did you say? Ooh, <laughs> so for it's me, it's like a thousand every time. times. <laughs> so she's not going to take a customer service job. Is can't do it. What we're getting at. Uh huh. Anyway, those are uh, those are just some things that um, that I'm not going to miss. And I will miss. Yeah. But I do agree with you on some of the stuff you listed. Yeah. Or some me too. of the things you listed. Mm -hmm. um, so, anyway, well, thanks for watching, guys. Thank and you. Uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye.